So welcome back. Let's get these uh, dots animated and let's change them away from dots. So first thing we want to do is open up the dot object. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just so I have some more room to work. And in the dot object, the thing that's making it choose a different sprite than this is in the create event. So open up the create event. It's the image underscore index because I made all of these dots as a sprite sheet. Uh, we're going to be using uh, individual sprite sheets now. So I'm going to just comment out that image index. I could just delete it, but I don't like deleting code that I know for a fact works. Um, all right, so instead of choosing the image index, the image is the part of the sprite, we're going to choose the sprite index. So sprite underscore index is going to be equal to. Now, GameMaker has a lot of really neat built-in features. Um, usually, you'd have to choose a random number and then like, make an array and everything. Here, you can just do, uh, if I could spell choose correctly, choose, and then in parentheses, tell it what to choose from, and it'll choose one of those. And so I'm going to write the names of my sprites in here. So S underscore blue gem, S underscore, oops, that's an underscore there, green gem, S underscore orange gem, uh, let's see, purple gem, red gem, and the last one is teal gem. So that causes it to choose a completely different sprite instead of just the images. For the moment, I still want the image speed to be zero, though. So that's uh, totally fine. Now, if I save this and hit play, I'm going to get all kinds of errors because of my uh, alarm zero code, which is looking for matches. And it's looking for matches based on the image index. So what could happen is I could have in column zero, row zero, I could have an image that is, um, uh, or a sprite that is at image zero, and they're all going to be at image zero because I set the speed to zero. Then the one next to it is also at image zero, even though they have two completely different sprites. Because they're on the same index, it would read that as a match, and then the entire board would go away. Um, there'd be all kinds of problems. Mass hysteria, cats and dogs living together. So instead, um, we're going to go to our alarm zero event uh, in our dot, and we're going to change wherever it says image underscore index to sprite underscore index. And that isn't too bad, but I'm really lazy. So I'm going to just put my cursor in here and I'm going to hit Command F. It's Control F on a Windows PC. And I want to find image underscore index. And there's an option that we can do to replace it with sprite underscore index. And I just want to hit Enter and it because it's asking me if I want to kind of confirm it for all those. And there we go. All those are changed to sprite underscore index. It was nice and simple. Um, okay, cool. And then move the pieces back. Draw, left pressed. Do, do, do. Okay, cool. And then in my game manager, in the create event, I want to do the same thing. So I want to replace every, inst every um, occurrence of image index with sprite index. So command F image underscore index. I'm going to hit this little arrow next to it, and I'm going to replace it with sprite underscore index. You can do this in um, 1.42, just fine. I don't remember if it's an arrow here. It's something else you have to hit to um, change it from find to find and replace. So I'm just, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Now, there's something else I need to fix in here, and that is this uh, dot dot sprite underscore index. So instead of this being irandom8, I'm going to go up here to my create variable, and I'm going to highlight this whole choose stuff. I'm going to copy that. So command C to copy, control C if you're on Windows. And then I'm going to go back down here. And where it says, so again, I'm in the game manager in the create event. Um, so the create event creates the board, and then we've got our variables here. So instance create layer. I don't want it to create the background tile anymore, so I'm going to comment that out. So I'm not seeing those weird overlapping gray things. I've got my dot, do, 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 and then it's checking to see if there's already a match on the board, which the logic behind this we need to fix. But for now, to make it work, I'm going to uh, paste that choose blue gem and all that stuff there. Do the same thing here. 
And the same thing here. All right, cool. And now I want to take a look at the, let's just go through. Oh yeah, don't don't look at the data structure thing. We're we haven't covered that yet, so don't don't worry about that. Uh, state machine. Wait, let me look at that again. No, we're fine. Alarm zero. We're fine. Alarm one. We're fine. Okay, cool. So let me save this, and if I did everything right, it should work. So let's find out if it works or not. All right, cool. So there we go. Oh man, it's, oh, okay, that's why it's over. I never recentered my sprite. That's why it looks like it shifted over a little bit. Um, but, so the match mechanics work with this new, uh, with this new thingy thing, with the thing and the two things. Uh, we don't have bombs yet. We're gonna get that relatively soon. Pieces are still falling in. Um, now let's talk about animation. So. Let's see what would happen if I didn't have that image underscore speed equals zero. I'm just gonna comment out this right there, um, save it again, and hit play again. And let's see what happens if we aren't limiting the image speed to be zero. I don't know why I did that, it's weird. Okay, that is, that's fancy. That is hard to look at, man. Like that's just, it, this is too much movement. We also don't want to put in a, a delay that's the same for each of these so that they're all blank and then at the same time they all shine. That doesn't look right either. So holy cow, that's gonna give me a headache. Um, okay, so let's go into our dots here and we're gonna create a new event. So uh, we're gonna create, let's see here, we wanna go to other I think it's at other, yeah, okay. So we're gonna choose in the dot object, add event, uh, other, and we're gonna choose animation end. And when the animation ends, we're gonna say image underscore speed equals zero. And we're gonna start in the create event with image speed equal to zero, but we're gonna create another variable here. And this variable is going to keep track of how long the delay between shines should be. So I'm gonna call this shine delay is equal to, and I'm gonna think of this in terms of seconds. So I think between three and six seconds would be a good amount of shine delay. So I'm gonna say shine delay is equal to I random for a random integer. And actually it doesn't have to be I, ran, I it can just be random. Uh, I random six, Actually, nope, sorry, random range is what I want. There we go. Random range between three and six. And so I'm gonna call that between three and six seconds for each of them to shine. That means I need to have another little variable here. And that variable is going to be, uh, I don't know, we'll call this um, shine counter. And that's gonna be equal to shine delay times room underscore speed. So uh, if your room is set to 30 frames per second and you have a three second delay, it's gonna wait 90 frames. If your room is set to 60 frames per second and you have a uh, three second delay, it's going to wait for 180 frames. So, okay, cool. And then uh, I'm going to set a new alarm here. So I'm gonna uh, add an event. And my event is gonna be alarm, I have zero and one, so this is alarm two. And alarm two is going to be to set the image, and I can't type today, speed equal to one. So in my create event, I'm gonna say that my alarm two, which is what's controlling our animation, is equal to shine counter, which I set up here. So like, let's say again, it chooses three. My room speed is 30, it's 90 frames. It's going to set alarm two to go off after 90 frames. Alarm two goes off, the image speed is set to one, but then when that animation ends, the image turns off again. However, at that point, I want to reset alarm two. 
So alarm two is equal to shine counter. So we have this kind of recurring thing happening where the animation for the shine is uh, random. So they're, they're not all gonna have the, the same shine animation. However, uh, it also doesn't look quite so mechanical or quite so busy. So let me change these so that I'm commenting my code here. And change this from at description to at description, uh, turn on alarm, turn off animation. Um, and then alarm two, this is going to be turn on animation. All right, cool. So I'm gonna save this. And before I go back into my room, it really bugs me that those are all offset. So I'm gonna to go to my sprites here and I'm gonna put my origin in middle center. Middle center. Middle center. Middle center. Middle center. Wait, there it is. And last one, middle center. All right, cool. So save this, I'm gonna hit play, and let's see how our animated sprites look. Okay. Now, the only thing I would add is that we have that long delay before we see the first shine. So how about we start out with the image speed set to one to begin with, and then um, that way they'll all shine and then we'll see this delay. I really like how this looks right now though. It looks almost inviting. Um, and you can make them like jiggle to give you a hint and stuff. That's, that's kind of neat. I like the way it looks. Uh, okay, cool. So let's fix that in Game Maker. We're gonna go to our dot object. Ooh, no, not the dot sprite. The dot object. Cool. And then in here, in my create event, I'm gonna make my image speed one. I keep doing that. So I'm gonna save and let's try this again. Let's see how it looks now. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. You see that one big shine right away. And then after a pause, you see them all start to shine. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So next time we're gonna add uh, some elements to the background, the foreground, we're gonna add a little frame around here and some space for the UI. So yeah, you can follow me on Twitter to find out as soon as I post a new video. Um, you can join my Discord to ask me questions if you want to, I'm chatting in there too. We can just talk about stuff. It doesn't have to be game dev stuff. Um, and yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day.